congratulations are in order. You are, were named the 2020 Golf Association of Michigan Men's Player of the Year. That is quite the honor, James. I mean, what does that mean to you to get this uh, award? Uh, it's it's an amazing deal to me um, just to be named that. Uh, I'm grateful for everything I've achieved and uh, every opportunity I've been given this year, especially with uh, the whole COVID thing. Just to be playing golf is uh, enough of a reward, let alone to be named player of the year. So uh, I'm just enjoying it while I uh, have the opportunity. Yeah, I mean, what was it like playing this year with COVID and all of the craziness going on? Well, the nice part about golf is it, it didn't affect it too much. It's already one of the few sports where you're socially distanced, and uh, it felt pretty normal, to be honest with you. Once it once it got going, other than wearing masks in the clubhouse and stuff like that, it was uh, it, it was nice to be out on the course again and just the tournament atmosphere. So it was uh, it was great that we play this sport in this time, and uh, like I said, just enjoying it. You said you, you're not quarantined, but you said you haven't seen a lot of your other friends. You've only seen your golf buddies for the last uh, few months. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. At Michigan State, we've been doing a great job. We're uh, one of, I think, one of two teams on campus, actually, who didn't have a case all semester, which is uh, a pretty big deal to us and our coach. So it, if I'm not golfing or doing schoolwork, I'm locked inside my house. So, <laughs> yeah, made the most out of it. and happy it's about time for uh, a break and see the family and uh, get back to normal life hopefully soon here. I know we're all hoping for that light at the end of the tunnel. I want to talk about um, another accomplishment that you had this year which is huge in the golf world. Uh, you got to play in the U.S. Amateur. I mean walk me through what was that like for you? Uh, it was one of the coolest experiences ever. I mean uh, for one though like I said with the COVID thing it's amazing that they were even putting on this tournament. Uh, I had to fly all the way across the country to Oregon, and it was it was a pain getting there, but it was well worth it. I mean, once I got there, I played some phenomenal golf, and I was the two seed in the U.S. Amateur, and I felt like I was a celebrity for a second. And I'm grateful for uh, the opportunity I got this summer to do that. While uh, half the people are sitting inside their houses doing nothing, I got to fly across the country and play in one of the best golf tournaments. So it was a really cool experience. You were obviously born to play this sport. When did you know, hey, golf is the sport that, that I'm going to pursue? I think it started at a young age. Um, when I was about three or four, I used to go to this driving range down the road with my dad and just kind of hang out with him and watch him hit until I was old enough to finally pick up a club. And uh, just from there, I loved it. Um, every summer, my parents would just drop me off at the course, and I had a group of buddies there. There would be like 10 or 12 of us, and we'd just go play every day. And I'm like, this is – this is what I want to do with my life. I'm like, if this is uh, the hardest thing I got to do, I think I got a pretty good life. So I've uh, just been enjoying the golf scene and uh, work at it every day. No days off pretty much for me. And uh, yeah, it's paid off and hopefully it keeps paying off for, uh, for as long as it can. And hopefully the next step is the PGA tour. I know I was going to ask what, uh, what is next for you? So I have a, uh, another year and a half of school i'm taking a fifth year with the whole COVID thing they gave us another year which is great okay. to finish up my finance degree and maybe get a minor in something else as well and then after that um half the year down in florida half the year in michigan probably and try for either the corn ferry the pga tour whatever uh, i'm blessed to get into first hopefully i make it to that step it's it's one of the hardest things to do in golf and uh that would be uh, great if I made it, but if not, it's it's a process, so we'll see where life takes me, but as long as I'm playing professional golf, that's what I want to do. All right, James. Well, thank you so much for being with me today, and best of luck uh, moving forward, all right? Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. I appreciate the time.